Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use your iPhone as a webcam. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? All the time on YouTube, I always see people asking which webcam they should use for live streaming, for how-to tutorials, things like that, to try to get the best quality out there. And while there are a hundred different answers, uh, probably the best answer is the webcam you have in your pocket. Right now, I'm filming this on my iPhone 11. It's USB tethered into my computer and I'm using it as a webcam and I'm going to show you how. One of the best things with using your phone as your webcam is the quality. You're going to get much better quality than you're going to get from a standard like Logitech webcam or something like that. Now, while you may not get DSLR quality, you're going to get pretty close. And the fact that you probably already own this and it's free, you can't really beat it. Now with the way this is hooked up, it's running through the USB on my computer. All right, and I'm gonna show you guys right now what you need to download. All right, so this is the website you're gonna to wanna to go to, and I'm gonna leave a link to it down in the description below, that way you guys don't have to hunt it up. And it's uh, Ivy Cam. Essentially, you're going to download this Windows application to your, uh, to your computer. Uh, that way it can communicate with the Ivy Cam app on your phone. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is iTunes. iTunes is essentially going to let you do the USB tether to your computer. That way these two pieces of software work the way they're supposed to do once they're installed. Now the application does run about $8 if you don't want the watermark on there. Uh, considering what it's going to do for you, I mean you're essentially paying $8 for a webcam and then just using the hardware you already have. All right, next I'm going to show you the Ivy Cam software on the Windows side and that's going to be this application right here. This is what it looks like. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you can see down here on the bottom that it shows that Rex's iPhone is connected via the USB. Uh, that way I'm getting this good strong signal. It's not cutting out. Uh, it's not getting blurry, anything like that. It's showing all my colors and my lights really good. And that's really what you want it to do. It's acting like a webcam should act. Uh, down here you have some options for uh, snapshots, video. Now I'm not using any of what's built into this because I do have OBS Studio running on my uh, other screen that's currently recording all of this together as most of you are going to do. Uh, this right here is important. What you want to do is get into the uh, settings. You want to make sure hardware decoding is on first and foremost or else this thing will run like crap. So let's get into settings. I keep mine on landscape uh, 1920 by 1080. You can set this to whatever you want with the exception of 4K. For whatever reason, at least on the Apple side of it, 4K does crash. I don't know if it does it on Android just because I've not tested it on an Android device. Um, I keep my frames per second at 30 because that's what most of the streams I do are going out at anyway. So not really a reason to have the webcam at 60. It's also going to help with the, uh, the data buffering uh, because it's less frames coming through. So that's more of a data pipe for your color, everything else to come through clearly. And then video quality, of course, high since it's connected through the USB. Now, one of the other settings you're going to want to adjust is actually on your device on the Ivy Cam software. Uh, there's a little magic wand icon towards the top of the screen that you're going to want to turn off. While this option is turned on, it's going to try and adjust all of your lighting aspects for you to try to do the best lighting possible. The issue I've seen, at least on the, uh, the Apple device, is that it causes a flicker through OBS uh, that's constant maybe every 5 to 10 seconds. You'll see a little slight flicker of the screen that can be absolutely distracting. If you have a good lighting setup, you're not going to need this option. Um, I've got lighting coming from my monitors and then two lights right above where my iPhone is on the stand that I'm using for the, uh, the webcam option. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I really hope it was helpful. Um, I hope you learned something that you didn't realize you could do with your phone today. If so, please give a thumbs up to the video. It means a lot to the channel. Also, if you like these types of videos, like and subscribe to the channel. That way you can see future content when it's released. Until next time, guys.